Welcome to the Las Vegas Advisor Weekly Update with Anthony and Andrew. Today is Friday, February 3rd, 2023, uh, going through the year. We're going to talk a little bit about, uh, we're going to talk mostly about the Super Bowl, but we are going to talk also about Formula One. Formula One, which uh, we, were do- we were putting some together about the, the projects that are in progress right now. Mm-hmm. And what everyone keeps asking about, you know, I, I do a lot of airport runs, you know, and we come out of the airport and they go, what's that? You know, what's that building there? And that's the, the Formula One paddock uh-huh. that they're building. And they're putting, you know, the Formula One parent company is putting so much money into this that a, an, an announcement came out that justifies what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And just yesterday, it was announced that where this, whereas this race was supposed to go for three years, it's now being extended. It's going to be a 10-year event. Okay, so All it's right? going down 10 years in Las Vegas. They're going to run this race. For 10 years, and apparently, you know, they'll put up those stands in front of Bellagio, uh-huh. and uh, it's going to be, they're talking about the economic impact being just off the charts. And, um, you know, and you can see what they're doing. They're putting their, their money where their mouth is on this thing, you know, and this is going to be, the paddock is going to be a place to watch, but a place to stage. It's going to be, they're going to have uh, different kinds of events going on there and, and uh, things and activities, and I guess a restaurant and the whole deal. Now, we talked about this. It's also going to be uh, November 18th. This is going to be going down at 10 p.m. because it's a real international uh, event. And the room rates have gone uh, through the roof. Oh, yeah. The room rates will be crazy for that, you know, for sure. And the packages to watch and, and everything else. It's Again, it's just going to be a really big deal. But it's going to be run every year for 10 years the week before Thanksgiving. That's, you know, how you keep track of it. All right. Uh, now, let's talk a little Super Bowl, Anthony. Uh, what's the line? Well, it depends on what day you're talking. I okay. mean, you know, as, as, as soon as the two teams, the, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles were, were named or won their games, the line came out with the Eagles two and a half point favorites. Okay. And as high as three in some places, I think Circa put it up at three. And immediately, I mean, boom, 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 everybody, everybody hit it the other way, taking the two and a half on Kansas City to the point where the line got back to pick them and then it flip-flopped. Wow. And Kansas City went up as two and a half point favorites. And at this point, they're sitting at one and a half. It went back down to two. But as of right now, Kansas City is a one and a half point favorite. Um, the total is 50. Okay. All right. So total, for those of you who don't know, that's the total number of points scored by both teams. So if it's something like 27 to 23, you've got to push. And either side of that, you know, is a winning total. Um, so the over-under is based on 50. Yes. Total Co- points scored. Correct. So, you know, I mean, you shop around depending on what you want. And, you know, look for the best line on your team because it's going to vacillate, you know, between pick them and three probably. Mm-hmm. And, but right now it's, it's one and a half in most places. Here's a betting deal. All right. There's uh, one place in town. Gee, South Point again. You know, mm-hmm. we're always talking about good deals at South Point. They give good deals. They do. They do. They're good. It's, yeah. a, it's a good gambling house. And they've set the line at minus 105. So you, you lay one and a half or take one and a half, 105 to win 100 as opposed to 110 to win 100. And that's so, the best deal in town. It's the best deal in town. It's the only one in town. Okay. So, it's, you know, it's, uh, they call it a nickel line. Okay. And that's the only nickel line in town. And they do that sometimes for the Super Bowl. You've got to bet in person. You have to be there. You can't do it on an app or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But go to South Point if you got a team you like, and uh, that's the place to do it. Uh, it's the best betting deal in town. All right. Well, uh, you heard it here. Also, you know that uh, South Point, if you get there between 10 p.m. Uh, sorry, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., they got that dollar uh, fifty hot dog. Uh, yeah, the hot dog cart, man. That's a top ten value, man. Yeah. Now, Anthony, this is. I got a little off track with the uh, with the hot dog there, but everybody wants to know who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl. I'm going to probably be on the uh, Eagles. Okay. I think so. Um, you know, I think that there's uh, there's injury problems with uh, with Kansas City. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, these are two really great teams. But uh, I'm probably going to bet the Eagles to take the points or, or bet the money line with the Eagles. All right. Now, uh, last night we went out to the Westgate, uh, which is – there's two really big sports books in town. And there's uh, the Westgate, which is kind of like by the convention center off the strip. And then there's Circa, obviously, that we talk about all the time, which is downtown, which we think is the Those best. are the two – yeah, those are the two that compete for the, you know, the grandest, the biggest, the yeah. best, you know, sort of thing. Well, I think Circa's the nicest. It's, it's just – Stunning. But uh, last night we went to uh, 
check out Westgate because they announced what the prop bets are going to be for the Super Bowl. Right. This is um, this is an annual thing they do at Westgate. Mm-hmm. It used to be a, a lot different. Uh, it's changed now. They, they used to be the first ones up. Mm-hmm. So everybody would show up on this Thursday night to see the, you know, to see the unveiling of the props mm-hmm. and start making their bets because the proposition bets, which are bets on things like you know, will X player have some number of yards over or under, or, you know, will this quarterback uh, run for a touchdown, or how many receptions will this re- receiver have, or how many tackles will this guy have? So I mean, that's what the props are. You know, what we talked about. Coin flip. Who wins the coin flip? Yeah, even that, even yeah. that, right? Um, and it used to be the unveiling. Oh. But now, because of, you know, all the different states and all the different companies that are in sports betting now, these lines were out already all over the place. And it was nothing yesterday. We, we, we've got the video of it, right, that we're showing as we're talking. It was nothing like it used to be, yeah. where people would line up around the corner. I mean, by people, I mean all the, the top gamblers, the top sports bettors. Uh, there was a lot of cash in that room at that time. With everybody going up, they could make, I think, one or two bets, a uh, maximum of 2000 Then they had to get out of line and go to the back of the line so everybody would get their chance. Mm-hmm. And they would do that over and over again, and those lines would go on and on. It was just nothing like that anymore, yeah. you know, because p- people are already betting in other places. Yeah, so we went there last night. Anthony told me, he said, you know, they, uh, they you know, kind of shut the... <laughs> the big reveal, right? Yeah, it's a big reveal, but it really wasn't much. It was uh, just somebody who was passing out uh, the, the pamphlets. <laughs> well, we took... T- <laughs> told you, you know, I told you, look, watch the board. Yeah. It's going to go dark yeah. and then it's going to light up. Yeah. Right. And what happened? Well, nothing. It was really, it was <laughs> really quite uneventful, but they did announce the lines at seven o'clock or they, they announced yeah. the propositions and uh, they, they passed out. Uh, they, they, well, the, the sheets, they call them the sheets. The sheets, they passed out the sheets. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, things change, but uh, it, it, it was still you know, interesting to see. I think there were between four and 500 different bets, props on these prop sheets. All right, so we just talked about Westgate, but Circa is doing something really interesting, too. Uh, yeah, something I haven't seen before. Okay. And they call it Circa Squares. That's another way to bet on this, on the game. And anybody who's done a, a bar or an office pool where they, you know, you, you get the squares where it depends on the score at the end of, the, of each quarter. They take the last number and the score and then they, they, they do a matrix and whatever. Well, Circa is doing that. Only you get to pick your square. Mm-hmm. And they what they've done is they've weighted these squares or the numbers. They put the numbers in beforehand and they've weighted it according to the probabilities. Mm-hmm. All right. So one square, if it's something like a zero and a seven. Right, you're you're not going to get paid as much because it's very likely to be seven nothing at the end of a you know at the end of a quarter, sure. uh, the first quarter especially. Um, but something like eight and nine, the odds are going to be much higher. So you're going to get a much bigger payout if you if you choose that square. Right. So I've never seen it before. It's a really good idea. It'll be interesting to see if it's uh, if it's popular or not. You know, if it's popular with the betters, and apparently the minimum bet is one dollar. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can have some fun. You know, it's a way you've got to go down and do it. I don't think you can do it on the app, but I haven't checked. Um, but it's a way to get some action on the Super Bowl. Okay. And can you do this leading up to the Super Bowl or do you have to do it the day of? No, no, no. You can do it right now. Okay. Uh, I mean, they've got the, they've got all of the, they've already put the numbers on and they've already put the odds on it. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just an interesting, uh, a, a different way to bet. And then you can win one square per quarter. Uh, yes. Yes. There's only going to be one result per quarter. And then at the end of the game. Okay. Well, uh, that's really cool, and uh, you're probably going to find me down there at uh, Circa, because I like it. It's a cool hang. Yeah. Okay, and speaking of something special for the game, uh, this one only applies to people living in the state of Arizona, but Anthony, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on? Yeah, we're going to... um uh, we're going to start a program here. It's an affiliate program that we're getting into with LVA, and we're working with sports books all over the country, but we're going to test it out. We're going to do a dry run the next couple of weeks in Arizona only. Mm-hmm. We're working with, uh, with a casino there called Desert Diamond. And here's how it works. When you deposit through us uh, $10, that's it, a $10 deposit, you will get their sign-up bonus, which is a match bonus from 10 to 250. You can actually deposit up to 250 and get that matched. But you're also going to get a bonus from us. Okay. All right, this is something special we're going to do, and we're starting it out. There are two choices, but one of them is a Las Vegas Advisor membership. 
Okay. And a book, uh, then one day, which is you know, a sports betting book. The second package is just three sports betting analytical books, Sharp Sports Betting, Weighing the Odds of Sports Betting, and 2020 Sports Betting. You get to either of those when you sign up through us. Now, here's how this works. Let's say you're an LVA member or you want to be an LVA member. Instead of paying $50 next year or this year, you pay $10. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all you got to do, and you get your membership. Mm -hmm. So rather than sending in 50 bucks to us, you send $10. You can use your credit card to do it to the sports book, and you're not even given the $10. You get to bet it. Right. And you get a match bet. I was just going to say, and they match it. Yes. Okay. So I mean, literally, you, you can. Want to deposit a hundred to get a, a nice. It, match, it depends. Fifty to get the full. I would. You know, do, you, you know we're going to put the. We're going to explain how that match play works and what the real value of it is. We're we're just finishing up right now. Okay. But yeah, if you're a person who would bet now and again, you want to go the full the full boat. You want to go all the way to two fifty, but you don't have to. Yeah. That's the point. If you're just somebody who casually says, okay, fine, I want to be a member of LVA, get the coupon book, you know, the whole thing, I can do this with 10 bucks, and I'll make a bet on whatever, yeah. the, the Eagles or the, you know, so you'll, you'll have action during the game. All right. You could actually double your money. I mean, you could get the $10 back and get your membership for free. So this is Arizona only. You have to be in Arizona to do it. So this is all of our Arizona listeners you know, check it out on our website. But the rest of you in other other states, we're going to be doing it all over the country. All right. And this is something we'll probably check in on uh, in future episodes. Uh, this is something that's going to be ongoing and uh, something that's really cool. Well, so, we did it last We did it a couple of years ago with DraftKings, and it was, it was for uh, fantasy sports only. So it was available. All, and we had hundreds and hundreds of people who did it. Mm -hmm. And the reason is we get paid an affiliate. Uh, you know, we get paid by them a commission. For bringing in customers, okay. so that's why we can do this. Okay, and it's it's a great deal okay. for the customer. It's just it's it's a no brainer, man. Well, yeah, it's a well, no brainer. No brainer is if you just spend ten dollars and then you get a match play and then you're getting a fifty dollar. Yeah, well, even uh, if you lose, even if you lose the bet, yeah. you've got action for the game and you're getting all of these things in return. So come on and do it, Arizona. Let's go. And in this week's jackpot of the week uh, comes to us from our buddy Martin M. Hello, Anthony and Andrew. Love your weekly update, especially your jackpot of the week stories and photos. And I am so happy that I finally have a story to share. I love Joker Wild video poker. I do too. Although the best 100% games have been disappearing, I still like to play it when I can. I realize the pay table here is marginal, around 98.4 or so. The following happened on the same trip. It was a hearts festival. It started at the California downtown where I got my first Joker Royal Flush in hearts for a payout of $125. A few days later, I was heading home to San Diego by way of Laughlin, and I stopped by the Aquarius Casino where I found a lone Joker machine open. Thanks to the Bob Dancer strategy card, I correctly held the Joker and King of Hearts and got my second Joker Royal Flush of the trip. After a little more play, I was dealt the 10, Jack, King, Queen of Hearts, and a heart-pounding hand. Lo and behold, I drew the Ace of Hearts. Boom. Shaka. Laka. Bada. Bing. Bada. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to celebrate. Exactly. Well, way to go, Martin. Uh, I like Joker Poker, too. Well, this is, a, you know, we, uh, we picked this one uh, for the jackpot of the week. It's the first time we've talked about Joker Poker. Mm -hmm. And um, he's correct. He obviously knows what he's doing. That's a 98.44% return on that game. Uh, Joker Poker is really interesting because, as also mentioned there, some of the schedules out there go over 100%. Um, and they're still out there. You can find them. Uh, there's one at, I know there's, they've got them at the plaza and, and a few other places around town. Um, it's, the, the thing about it is it's a non-intuitive game. It's kind of hard to play. Because of the whole jacks are better thing, right? You're used to playing jacks are better. Well, yeah. See, well, it's not only that. You keep you keep kind of some strange holes because of the wild card. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you have to remember it's kings are better. Right. So, you know, everybody, when they switch over to Joker or they try it, they're always keeping the jacks and the queens. And you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do that. Yeah. But you notice he said he had the Bob Dancer strategy card. Yes. Which is the way to go if you want to play Joker poker. There's also a book. It's called Joker Wild Video Poker by Bradley Davis. Okay. And um, it is an excellent book on the strategies for playing Joker poker and the different return percentages and so forth. So anyway, this is just something that's a little different from what we've, we've normally done. And, you know, we want to try to get around and hit all the games. One more thing, though. This was submitted by Martin last year, way back in November. And for those of you who have submitted jackpots that we haven't done yet, be patient. You know, we'll get to it. We've got, them, we've got a lot of them, and they're stacked up. 
And when it fits, we do it. Yeah. And uh, we'll get to yours, right? Yeah. This one, this one was really fun. I like Joker Poker. One thing to note also, $4,700. Or sorry, 4700 credit. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's one more. Th- yeah, that's interesting. A lot of a lot of the uh, Joker games have the 4700 payout. Yeah. And uh, interestingly enough, that comes in at $1,175, which is just below the... Taxable. Yes. <laughs> the reporting threshold is not met. That's right. So that's a, another kind of cool reason to, uh, to play Joker Poker as well. Right. Well, that's it for this week guys thank you for liking sharing subscribing and all the lovely comments that we get um that's it for this week anthony anything to add no just arizona come on all right thank you and we'll see you soon